But I think that if we're, we don't do that and we don't be that example, then the generations after us are, they're doomed to fail. America's not average. We've never attempted to be average. I think it's our obligation as Americans to become a, you know, excellent. Um, average doesn't cut it. But if the generation underneath of us doesn't see us striving to do that, they'll agree that average is fine. And then it's a snowball effect. And I can't live with that. You know, if that's my son seeing that in me, I can't live with that. I don't think you should either. So again, it doesn't matter what your skin color is. doesn't matter what religion you are. That's what America is, is it's the best part of everybody coming together to form solutions and to use our differences to become stronger. If we didn't have all of that, what do you really have? You have a, you have a communist state if everyone's just one thing. So I think that we're, we're supposed to strive to come together. We're supposed to be stronger and you can only do that by taking the good and the differences that are good to form that. And, you know, the founding fathers believed that and that's, that's what they did. So again, what they do is give us labels. They give us labels to fight about. Um, the only label that we should be taking on is American. I'm tired of all of the labels they put out there just to trick us. So guys, what I need you to do is stand up for what you believe in. I need you to speak, you know, what you believe in. And if you disagree with me or someone that is speaking, have that conversation, uh, work it out. You know, the whole offended thing makes me laugh. I, I don't even understand how someone becomes offended. I mean, you're choosing to be offended. So have the conversations with someone different than you. And I welcome it. If someone believes differently than I do, message me, uh, comment on the podcast. I'd love to have the conversation. And if I'm wrong, I'll admit that I'm wrong, but I feel, I feel pretty confident in what I'm saying. So once you get to that point, again, speak to other people, tell the people around you. I think that we can all agree on most of this stuff. Just a lot of people aren't saying it. And the people that are talking are, again, they are they. Let's get louder than they. I think it's our obligation as Americans to stand up for what we believe in and be able to have those difficult conversations. So especially if you've got kids, I think that you need to step up. I think you need to be a better example. Again, that's if you're average. That's if you're okay with average. I mean, there's definitely people out there that are, you know, a higher step than I am. Like I already mentioned one of my friends, Eric, um, we just recorded with Derek Staley. I mean, I, I put him on a pedestal too. He's someone I've always chased. Uh, my brothers, I've always chased my brothers. So again, I'm not sitting here saying I'm perfect. I just think I've, you know, I've built this platform and I think some of these things need to be said. I'm tired of sitting back and letting, you know, the Michelle Tanners of the world or the Eros Mackies of the world or Andy Frisella's of the world say these things, why I just sit back on the, you know, listening to their podcast or them speak and just nodding saying, yeah, I agree with that. I think it's time, for, you know, it's my turn. It's my turn to step up and say something. If we can all do that, if we can strive to be the best we can, that's how you push the next generation higher. I uh, listened to a, it was a lady at a conference and she was saying the barriers that we don't break down are the barriers that our kids will have to break down. If you don't have kids, maybe it's hard to understand that. I mean, it was a huge mentality shift for me when my son was born almost three years ago. And I was like, give me the sledgehammer. Let's start breaking shit down. I thought, uh, it made me want to be a better person in that mount. That's kind of cliche, but until you've gone through it, it's hard to understand. Um, when I look at that kid, I just think, put those problems in front of me. Those are my problems. When, when there's a big problem, I'm like, cool, let's get this one done. So he doesn't have to. So, um, I think it's important that we try to tear down some of those walls in front of us. Cause again, if we don't, the next generation has to. So we need to look past our differences that in the end, it really doesn't matter. We're humans. We all have, you know, you take the skin off of us. You can't tell the difference. I'm tired of all the labels. So scrap the labels. We're all Americans. Get behind it. So that's pretty much my message. You know, we need to come together. We need to stop using the labels that make us different. We need to come together as Americans. Um, it's our turn. Generations before us have done it. And uh, like Andy says, it, it might not mean taking up a rifle and defending it. 
In fact, I, I don't think it will. I think that this will be a technology attack. I think it already is a technology attack. I think that uh, Derek Staley and I, we kind of covered that in the last episode, so you can go back and listen to that. Make our differences make us greater. Let it make us stronger. Have the hard conversations. Disagree, that's fine. We should disagree. If you're quiet and you disagree, you're part of the problem, I think. So if you disagree, get loud. Let people know. Let's have those hard conversations. Don't get loud in a sense where It's going to cause issues, but get loud so people know. That's the only way we're going to be able to find better solutions to move forward. And if if you don't have a kid to do it for like I do, then do it for the people that came before us. The majority of the people in America have someone past or present that they can get the courage to fight for. So anyway, guys, hopefully that uh, touches you a little bit. When I listened to Andy's episode, it made me want to get on here and just do a solo episode. I've only listened to his like 60 times trying to get myself ready. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm nervous doing this stuff when I'm alone in the studio. So hopefully you were able to struggle through that. And, uh, I'm sure Mallory's going to cut it up to make it sound all good and appreciate you guys being here. See you next week.